I'm Second Lieutenant Mata uh, from the Air National Guard, 149th Fighter Wing. We're out here with the uh, TMD, SUAS drone team. So we're out here with DPS and we're just going through our pre-flight checklist. Um, we're about to go on mission. Our mission here is to observe and report to DPS. Um, these drones are increasing our capabilities of finding people way faster, um, way more efficient. Once this camera goes off from a sensor, from people crossing, it'll be uploaded on the ATAC. And then once we get that hit, all of us, the brush team, DPS brush team, will respond to there and um, deploy the drones. Uh, today we just drove around, patrolled, listened to radio traffic, helped out on a few different calls, like looking for possible vehicles that's loaded up or scouting and stuff like that along 83. Uh, my favorite part of the job is, uh, you know, doing my part here on the border, you know, like one day at a time, one stop at a time. Every day I put the uniform on and uh, I come to work, I feel like I'm doing my part and I feel like I'm making an impact here on the border. Pretty much we, uh, we get tasked out through DPS to lay down concertina wire. So what goes into that is DPS will get contracts signed through private landowners and then we'll take our heavy equipment and uh, clear land and then implement the concertina wire to kind of filter the immigrants that cross over to the roads or private accesses to where Border Patrol can more easily pursue them and pick them up. So we're in uh, Task Force South, Brownsville. We pretty much just make a drivable path, like a dirt road. It's pretty simple. We take our skid steers and go down and smooth it out, cut any brush out of the way. It pretty much just consolidates all the immigrants to the levee roads where they can just apprehend them easier. Around 1,400, we got to talk, we got a report about anywhere from six to 700 migrants were coming over to gate 36. So when my, shoot, when my platoon came down here on their shift starting at 1600, we started to help out BP corral all the migrants into one general area. And then we started sorting out who's surrendering and who's not. And then that's when we bring them all over here so BP can start processing them in a safe manner. I'm working with DPS, BP, and local law enforcement to help facilitate this action. Right now it is still ongoing. Uh, it still looks like there's about four to 500 of them out here. Three, about 300 have finally left buses facilitated by BP. We were able to deter uh, about half of this group that you're seeing out here uh, decided, to go, decided to go once they saw a very heavy military and uh, police presence in the area. The engineers are the best of the best. I mean, we constantly do the work and we're eager for more. We don't have a whole lot of limitations. We get tasked out to do something, whether it's BP or BPS, and we'll, we'll go full throttle. I have the best guys in business, um, stellar operators. I'm, I have a team of seven 12 members, including myself, which is pretty much the equivalent of a civil engineer's heavy equipment operators on the civilian side. And they do everything and anything that we ask of them. And they're eager to do the work and just further their careers. Texas National Guard soldiers supporting Operation Lone Star patrol the southern border of Texas, deterring and turning back illegal immigrants. Engineers have put up miles of razor-sharp concertina wire, making it more difficult for criminals to cross into cities along the border. One of the most common things they usually use, they like to get a bunch of rebars, bend the top so it looks like a hook, and they'll literally run up to the raw, hook up the rebar, and they'll use the rebar as a, as a ladder. So we just had, um Two males dressed in all black, both were wearing backpacks. Uh, they ran up north to where the short wall connects to the tall section of the wall. I used my LED flashlight to flag down a Border Patrol agent. He, um, he zoomed to us, he cut them off, and then they ran back south. Guardsmen are responsible for turning back a total of over 30,000 illegal immigrants from entering the U.S. unlawfully, including members of gangs, cartels, drug traffickers, and human smugglers. Just us being here alone um, is security in itself because they see us and they're like, 
We're not going to go through there, but we're going to find a way. And that's why they've been pushing further down that way. Border Patrol would definitely be overworked. They don't have the numbers. They can't really cover most of this border. So we kind of, you know, take the weight off of their shoulders and do what we can to help out. Governor Greg Abbott declares an invasion on the southern border. The Texas National Guard continues to focus on turning back and repelling illegal migrants. I'm part of Truist, a tactical response unit, out here helping with the uh, mission Lone Star. Tonight, me and my team tracked a group of illegal aliens to some thick brush in the mission area. So we decided to drive around to the other side strategically to cut them off. I heard a noise and spotted three illegal aliens. We captured them and brought them to Border Patrol. The Tactical Response Unit is a specialized team trained to interdict and deter illegal activity, acting as the first line of defense on the southern border. I think today's mission was a success. I think we accomplished in not allowing criminals or drugs to come through to the streets of Texas. We have our soldiers repeating Title VIII to the uh, migrants on the other side, reminding them that if they cross illegally, they will have a five-year probationary period when they are deported back to Mexico. What we've done is by giving that deterrence messaging, here in Brownsville, we've seen a drastic reduction in the numbers here, and they have been given a clear message on uh, what we're going to do and what they should be doing going into the port of entry. I've been on uh, Operation Lone Star for one year and nine months. I, I like OLS a lot. I think the, uh, the mission is uh, critical. It's a humanitarian crisis, what's happening here. Uh, the trans criminal organizations, I think, are really exploiting the situation uh, by passing the migrants where they're at and then also running uh, nefarious activities in other locations at the same time. Uh, it really takes our attention to this area to uh, deter the migrant traffic so the Border Patrol can focus on the more nefarious activities and the DPS can also help out with that type of activity that's happening on the sidelines. I joined the drone team because I felt like the capabilities a drone brings would be more efficient to the OLS mission itself. It makes us extremely proficient. The capabilities that drone teams bring to the mission is that we can get eyes on from about a mile and a half out from us. Yeah, so that's him right there. And these are our guys. Oh, he's gonna push right out to the road. So we can coordinate our ground teams and walk them in to have less of resistance of IAs being captured. It's more safe for the members themselves from running in the dark, running in bushes, twisting an ankle, and we just walk up on the IAs and there's not really resistance, they're already caught. We ended up getting the opportunity to deter some migrants that tried to illegally cross into the United States. In our area of operation, um, there's a number of sensors and they managed to hit one of those sensors. Border Patrol said that it was clear, but just for good measure, we decided to go into the reeds and check the banks thoroughly. We managed to track them via some signs, some trash, and some discarded wet clothes that they left behind. Go, no, we're, we're missing one that went into the creek, so follow the creek, guys. And we managed to see them, made our presence known, and whenever we did that, they managed to go back to the, to the mic side. We're here to basically be thorough because BP is a little bit short-handed right now. So if we can give them peace of mind by thoroughly inspecting the brush, then that's what we'll do. We had a pretty successful night. We apprehended quite a few uh, illegal immigrants. 
we were able to assist the Border Patrol, so uh, we had a successful night. It's, a, it's an uphill battle. Um, there's a lot more to do. You know, we're able to assist BP and DPS, fill some gaps, especially with uh, everything going on currently with Title 42. Uh, a BP is currently, some, in some locations, being pulled off the line to, uh, to do admin duties. Uh, we're able to fill those gaps and help them out as much as possible. Uh, I, had, I had a medic, in fact, tonight who was able to treat a wounded uh, illegal immigrant, so that worked out pretty good. Very proud of it. I take care of my soldiers first, and I take care of any migrants that come across if they have any sort of ailments if I'm available. So if, we're, if we manage to intercept them and get them the proper care that they need, especially as a medic, then I feel like I'm doing my job at the end of the day. I try to get out as much as I can, spend some time out here with the guys, uh, sweat with them. I think you, uh, as a leader, you gotta get out here and get dirty with them as well. Several contributing attributes. Um, you got to be patient. Number one, you got to know how to, to move tactically. You got to know how to move quietly. Uh, work under nods, which uh, a lot of guys don't have a lot of experience with. Uh, on the end day side, if you come on this mission, you're going to get a lot of experience working under nods, working at night, working in small teams. They're learning a lot of a lot of things they probably wouldn't experience uh, on the end day status. So Alpha Company has made a, a huge impact on this mission. Most of these guys have been down here for over 365 days and they're doing it because they love it. They're doing it because they feel like they make a difference.